Peter, you know, right? Raquel's old man's been on the phone to us. Yeah, and he's shown it to some experts, and it's only kosher. Well, this is the watch that's been missing for over 300 years? Yes, the Harrison Lesser watch. So what is it? <laughs> it's a watch. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's more than that. It lets you know exactly where you are anywhere in the world. How'd it get lost, then? How <laughs> <laughs> about now it got lost? That's why I just did. Yeah, if I hadn't realised its full value and rescued it, I mean, it could have ended up anywhere. Yeah, like chucked on top of an old gas cooker. And <laughs> well, it's going to be auction. That's right, it's afternoon. 2.30 at Sotheby's. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so how much do you reckon it's worth, then? Well, see, I don't know, cos nothing like this has ever come on the market before. Could be, what, ten grand? Yeah, fifteen. Twenty, maybe. Well, on your way back from the auction, drop by my showrooms. I've got a lovely couple of Skodas at five grand each. <laughs> You won't be laughing like that when we come back this afternoon. So you two could be famous then? Uh, well, among watchmakers. <laughs> <laughs> well, why not? You know, we discovered it. And as Andy Warhol said, everyone will be famous for 15 minutes. Well, how can everyone be famous for 15 minutes? There's not enough time in the world, is there? He didn't mean everyone would be famous, you know, he was just generalising upon modern society. You know, people become famous for a little while, then they disappear. Like, Rennie and Renata, <laughs> Simon D. Or Gandhi. Yeah. <laughs> so, see, maybe this time, it's our... <laughs> yeah. I mean, he made one great film and then he never saw him again. No, let's go, let's go.